How's everybody? How is everybody doing? God, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. All right, let me talk about my mother. Let me talk about her for a second. My mother hates my friends. My mother hates my friends, and she doesn't even hide it. And I confronted her about it. I was like, Mom, listen. Stuff wasn't pages off for these folks. <laughs> Come on, folks. All right, so my mom, she hates my friends. All right, I confronted her about it. I said, Mom, listen. I don't treat your friends the way you treat mine, all right? How would you like it if I said things like, Mrs. Bloom, what are you doing here? <laughs> Why doesn't my mom ever go to your house? <laughs> don't you have any other friends? <laughs> Got a lot of crazy women in my life besides my mother. A lot of crazy women in my life. Like my brother. <laughs> Actually, no, he's a good kid. He's a he-man. He's a he-man of a brother, but he's got really keen fashion sense. Really keen fashion sense. Let me tell you, he'll stop me before I leave in the morning. Okay? I'll be walking out. Whoa! Co! Co! Whoa! You're going out in that? No, 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 no. Step into my office. So he brings me up to his room, all right, and then it's up his closet, it unfolds into a million different sweaters and seams and whatever. And he looks at me and looks me up and down and goes, take it off, take it all off, take it all off. Okay, here we go. This shirt, that hat, those shoes. And no pants. <laughs> code, I'm telling you, it's all the rage in France. I see London, I see France, Code. <laughs> exactly, go with it. He's a real He-Man though, my brother. Real He-Man, you know, just like my dad. My dad, a real He-Man. A man among men. But he cooks. <laughs> he cooks. But you know, he always likes to, you know, he likes to save himself, his manliness. He'll be like, I'm a rustic cooker. All right? I'm going to make you a sorbet. <laughs> but it's going to be a chicken and liver sorbet. Because <laughs> that's what they had on the prairie. And they would be lucky if they ever got it in a sorbet coat. Yeah. So I'm starting to... Uh, Sound like my dad on the phone. People tell me this all the time. They say, Cody, I thought that was your dad on the phone. Wow. And I'll be like, great. Now I can use this. <laughs> to my advantage. Like when the school calls. Am I right? When the school calls. They'll call, they'll call my house. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes. Is this Peter Hart, son of, or father of Cody Hart? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Why? What has he done? Um, I wish I could be calling under better circumstances, Mr. Hart, but your son was caught cheating on his math test. Excuse me for a moment. The fun part about this is, is I can get out of trouble and make my dad look like a horrible parent at the same time. <laughs> Watch how this plays out. Cody! Cody, you get your little butt down here right now! You get your little butt... Hold on, you said he, he was caught cheating? He was caught cheating? Cody! The cheating! Come down here! And then I play myself. Hey, Dad, what's going on? <laughs> what's the problem, Dad? You were caught cheating? No, Dad, I wasn't caught cheating! Bah! I wasn't caught cheating! Bah! Thank you for calling me. He is going to get a talking to. <laughs> he is going to get a stern talking to. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I work at a grocery store. I work at a grocery store. It's a really nice grocery store. It's Giovanni's Market up in North Stanford. Have you guys ever heard of that place? Really nice place. It is a really nice place. And uh, I am a cashier slash bagger. I bag and I, and I tally up what I'm bagging. And you know, you really learn a lot about a person by what groceries they buy. Really. Like a guy came up to my register. Oreos. 
bubble bath. <laughs> I know what this guy's into, fun. <laughs> this guy is all about fun. Working at my store, you know, I have a lot of interesting times. You know, I have a lot of good friends that work in my store. I have this one friend, his name is Carlton. Uh, he's a black friend of mine. He's a great kid. He's a great kid. He loves messing with the customers. He loves it. Whenever they start barking, barking orders at him, he starts singing Negro spirituals. <laughs> Wait in the water. Wait in the water. You want your meat in a separate bag, sir? Indeed, sir. Wait in the water. Doesn't work so well if I do it. <laughs> Especially if the customer's black. <laughs> no, no, no. Bad things happen. I once said, see you later, brother. He said, brother. I'm not your brother. I said, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> That's how that went. Yeah. Friend asked me the other day, he said, Code, Code, I got a really important question for you. If you can be any superhero, who would you be? I thought about it for a second, and I was like, well, all the good heroes have been taken when this question is asked. You know, the Supermans and the Batmans, the Green Lanterns. So I thought I'd make up my own hero. All right, here we go. Picture this, picture this, picture this. Mr. Hypno. Guess what he does? He hypnotizes. And that would work any time. If I was Mr. Hypno, if I was Mr. Hypno, go up to a girl. Sally, Sally, hi. You want to go to the dance on Friday? Oh, oh, you don't. Okay, all right, sorry. What about now? <laughs> All right, see you today. <laughs> but you're picking me up! <laughs> and you're renting the limo! Good, I'm glad we're agreed. Glad we're agreed. That would work any time. Mom comes in. Cody, this room is a mess. Look at this. Look at this sty. Look at it. I can't even move in this place. Look at this sty. Yeah, you're, you're right, Mom. It's messy. It's messy. What about now? <laughs> Clean it! You missed the spot! Right there! That would work whenever. Well, guys, you guys have been a great audience. Thank you so much. See you all later. All right, Cody Hart! Wow, I love you guys.